The Baltimore City Department of Public Works is facing criticism from environmental groups over a plan to clear out trees on the western branch of Herring Run. Scientists are concerned it is going to do more harm than good. Janae Reese has a look at the community's concerns. Alongside the western branch of Herring Run, so again, you see that the stake marks coming through. Environmental scientists and neighbors walk through a forest, an area Baltimore City plans to clear out for a stream restoration project. But all the trees, as we walk through this, this whole corridor is going to get taken out. Scientists with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation says construction access for the project will require the city to clear out three football fields worth of old growth forest near this stream. So they want to protect that bank a little bit, but again, it looks looks pretty darn stable. You have vegetation coming all the way down in that area there. Environmentalists say the trees around the stream help reduce flooding, combat climate change, and cool the stream and neighboring urban areas. And these forests are critical for urban areas especially. Um, as we get more and more 90 degree days, these help kind of keep temperatures a little bit cooler, like on a 90 degree day, in the forest, it's probably going to be like 75. According to the city's website, the plan to clear this area of the western branch of Herring Run is a part of Baltimore City's Municipal Stormwater, or MS4, permit requirement, which was last updated in 2021. But after visiting the site, environmentalists say they are concerned about the impacts this project could have on the Herring Run stream's overall health. When you change land use from a forested land use or you put in parking lots, you're, you're basically changing the whole dynamics of the water. So any water that would normally soak into the land as a sponge becomes a funnel. It basically channelizes all the water, forces it to run off the land really quickly. Scientists claim the city is pursuing this project to seek pollution credits from the state, something advocates hope to change. We want the state of Maryland, the Maryland Department of Environment, to no longer allow stream restoration as a practice to satisfy municipalities and pervious acre credits. That is the long-term goal. We can't fight these projects in every little jurisdiction. We, the state needs to no longer make that an allowable practice. Reporting, I'm Janae Reese for WJZ.